Welcome back, guys. Today we're delving into a gripping tale from Bradford about Kashif Tahir, a notorious drug supplier, and the dramatic events that unfolded. Kashif was a well-known drug supplier in Bradford. He was sentenced in November 2013 for four years after admitting conspiracy to supply heroin. January 2, 2017, Kashif finds himself with Bradford kingpin Meggy Khan, leading to a rendezvous with Yasa Yakub over a debt owed. Meggy wanted to meet Yasa Yakub about money that Yasa was owed. Meggy proposes to help Yasa retrieve the money, but not without a price. Yasa, accompanied by three others, sets off to meet Meggy. Yasa had David Butlin, a professional MMA coach, Rekshino Arapaj, also known as Gino and Mosin Amin, with him. At 4 p.m. on January 2, 2017, Yasir Yakub and Gino in a white Skirocco, and David and Mossin in the Audi A4 set of to the meet with Meggy. Yasir Yakub told the other three men they were going to a meeting at a restaurant in Bradford Road in Huddersfield. On the way, Yasir Yakub told the others Meggy rang and wanted him to go to Bradford. They went to Ainley Top, and Yasir Yakub and Gino got into the Audi, and David and Mossin got in the Volkswagen Skirocco. When they got to Cafe de Akbar, on Leeds Road, Bradford, the meet between Meggy, Kashif, and Yasser and Mosin. The meet lasted about an hour. After meet was done, the four men came out of Cafe Akbar on Leeds Road, Bradford, and shook hands. Meggy Khan and Kashif Tahir got into a black Bentley and drove off, and Yasser Yakub and Mosin Amin got in the Audi A4. Yasser and Mosin in the Audi A4, and David and Gino in the Volkswagen Scirocco travel back to Huddersfield in convoy. As they approached Huddersfield, they got to the slip road. There was a car in front with no lights on, like it had broken down. They encounter a roadblock set up by unmarked armed police vehicles. It was slowing down the traffic. Four unmarked police vehicles surrounded the two cars at Junction 24 near Huddersfield, after police intelligence that Yasser Yakub was a highly active criminal. Yasser died from catastrophic blood loss after being hit by two bullets fired from 1.5 metres away by armed police officer. The officer told the inquest that Yasser Yakub ignored a command to show me your hands and appeared to have crouched down and picked up a handgun. Amid the chaos, Yasser Yakub tragically loses his life. The officer involved claimed self-defence, stating Yasser appeared armed and posed a threat. In 2019, Kashif Tahir faced justice once again receiving a six-year sentence as part of an undercover police operation. The gang, involved in large-scale drug trafficking, was dismantled, with over 27 kilograms of drugs seized. The operation resulted in the confiscation of nearly two million pounds worth of heroin and cocaine, and 100 kilograms of cannabis, along with significant assets, 250,000 pounds in cash and high-value items, including Rolex watches, were also confiscated during a series of raids across the county. The gang collectively received a staggering 94 years in prison. And there you have it, the gripping saga of Kashif Tahir, Meggy Khan and Yasar Yakub. If you found this story intriguing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tales of true crime. Until next time.